Shalom, Shalom, Koholayim La, Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rekat, Kwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. So, scripture of the week. Again, so, scripture of the week. Okay, so you know, this is something that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai has put on my spirit. Um, you know, a few weeks, well, actually a month back now, because it's, it's about a month since it's, I've been doing this. And, you know, Adawan Rat Tazai, it's edifying, informative, uplifting, and, uh, you know, something that you can meditate upon to examine yourself and also apply to your spirit and to your uh, countenance, okay, your everyday life. So for this week, the scripture of the week, we're going to go into, and as I stated, Salakia, as I stated, I'm going to take a word off of the wall. You know, I, I've, I've already done encouragement, motivated. Um, and now we're going to grab accountable. And that's something that we have to be very aware, aware of and also apply in our everyday lives, man. OK, especially, especially in the truth, man, we have to be accountable. We have to take accountability for what we do and what we have done. OK, we can't have the spirit of Esau, Edom. OK, that's the a pure uh, depiction and also example of not taking accountability. OK, and that's, uh, you know, exactly where you women get that spirit from. OK. So, you know, like I said, we're going to grab a scripture to also reflect that word that uh, that I choose from um, this the uh, scripture of the week. So this week is going to be accountable. So with the scripture we're going to grab is going to be Hosea chapter five and it's going to be verse 15. And, then, you know, we're going to read it in a different translation. And I'm pretty sure y'all know I'm going to the AMP because the AMP, you know, would be hitting for certain precepts and it hits for this. It's a perfect uh, example of the word accountable and especially for the uh, scripture of the week, you know, it's something that we have to examine constantly. So this is Hosea chapter five, verse 15 in the AMP. I will go away and return to my place on high until they acknowledge their offense and bear their guilt and seek my face in their distress Will they earnestly seek me saying, okay, saying what? You know, you're repenting. You're acknowledging the error, the transgression, uh, the, the slip, the fall of your way. And what does that do? That takes account. Of, you, you're, you're, you're being accountable, taking accountability for your action. And it's something that I want to look up in this precept, which is acknowledge. So I'm just going to, you know, highlight it and look it up real quick. And it says Acknowledge. Accept or admit the existence of truth. So I can accept or admit the existence or truth of. OK, and that goes, you know, that 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 fits with accountable, you know, being account uh, taking accountability for your actions, man. OK, because, you know, as we know, we're in these weak, corruptible bodies and we're going to error. We're going to fall. We're going to slip. We're going to come short here and there. And, you know, as it says in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, you know, a just man will fall seven times, but he will rise up again. Roughly paraphrasing, man, because why you take account, you're accountable. You take accountability for your actions, man. You seek the Lord. OK, and you you, you confess, you know, have a conversation. You pray, you meditate to your, towards your how about Shimmy, how shy and you, you're accountable. You take accountability and you acknowledge your errors, man. You're sincere, you're humble, you're fearful, okay? These are things that we need to, uh, you know, meditate upon and also remind ourselves daily, man. 
Because what does the scriptures also state? The scriptures also state that the Lord is dealing with the lowly and meek in spirit. The humble also, man. The Lord resists. He resists the proud, man. And we don't want to have a, a, a pinch, a smidget, any type of measure of pr uh, 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 prideness on us, man, or, or being prideful. So like you, you know. So I'm going to read this again. This is Hosea chapter five. Verse 15 in the AMP, I will go away and return to my place on high. So the Lord is not, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh can do whatever he wants. Okay? Our Heavenly Father can do whatever the hell he wants, man. So the Lord is waiting on you. Okay? Because you have to consider and have to also keep in your mind and remembrance that the Lord woke you up. He gave you the ammunition, He gave you the tools that you need to uh, do right. You know, he set up his prophets to edify you, to warn you, to remind you, okay, uh, of, of the things in our history, of the things to do to be prepared, of the things to do to walk correctly, to examine yourself, to grow, to increase, because you must grow and increase in this truth. And if you're not growing and increasing, then what does that say? Okay. I will go away and return to my place on high. Until they acknowledge, okay, take accountability, be accountable. And that's very, very important. Whether you're a new, a newer brother coming in, or, you know, as they say, a younger brother, or you're a younger brother that's been in, or you're, uh, you know, seasoned, you, you know, if you have some type of status, whether you be an officer or a captain, whatever the case may be, this applies for everybody. Nobody's exempt, man. Okay, and you always hear the elder apostles, elder bishops always saying they're still learning. OK, period. But, you know, look, the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah has his, uh, 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 you know, uh, positions and statuses and levels and stuff. OK, but, you know, to, to be on a high level and to still have a, a, a great abundance of humility and sincerity is a, is, is a good example for us in this truth. Until they acknowledge their offense, okay? And what does that word offense mean? Let's look that up real quick so we can have a clear understanding of that. Offense, a breach of a law, okay? Listen, a breach of a law or rule in an legal act. And we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to breach or, or commit a, a legal act or break a rule against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And you know, further, furthermore, let me say this willingly. Because again, we're going to slip, we're going to fall, but we have to be accountable. All right. Ignorance. Uh, yeah, that's all we need. That's all we need. So we got it. Okay. Uh, continuing on. Until they acknowledge their offense and bear the guilt and seek my face, not seeking your own way, not seeking how to justify your own actions. No, you humble down. And you know, you, 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 you confess your error, your transgression. You be accountable, okay? In their distress, will they earnestly seek me saying, okay? And you know you know what it is from there, man. So I'm going to leave it right there, man. You know, I don't want to write I hope and I pray that this scripture of the week, so is something that you can, you know, take on with you from day to day that you can apply to your everyday life that, you, you know, you can uh, constantly meditate upon and examine yourself and, you know, Lord willing, you can improve, you can grow, and you can be accountable in your actions. So with that, I'm just going to say, call Holayim La, Alba Nawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash, Watha, Wada, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash, for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want to write to Zach to the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say Shalom.